Hello photographers, Lou Petkus here, editor of the newsletter for Skip Photographers. Today I want to give you a short tutorial on how to use our new album program. But before we get started, I want to show you a uh, tip that you can use with your web browser. You may or may not be aware, but if you press your F11 key, you can toggle the browser between uh, full screen mode, toggle it back, toggle it into full screen mode. I like to use the full screen mode. I just think it's a little bit easier on the eyes and less distracting. Okay, so let me show you how to navigate when you're just viewing albums in the browser. Here you can see there's two albums up on the screen. And by clicking on one of the albums, you can bring up the menu of thumbnails. Down here, you can see there's actually three pages of thumbnails. If I click Next, it'll go to the next page. And if I click Next, it'll go to the last page. I could also use the one, the two, and the three buttons. Another way to navigate the albums is to come over here to the album list. So for instance I could click here and this would bring me up the list of thumbnails for this particular album user. By clicking the home button it takes me all the way back to the home screen. So let's go into the individual pictures and let's do some navigating. Now here you can see I've got the menu of thumbnails up and I'm just going to go to the the last screen here and bring up one of the thumbnails. So if I click on this thumbnail it will bring up all of the information about this image. Here you will see the description. This is the title of the image. Now I can navigate to the next image by clicking on this arrow, I can go back to the previous image. I can also navigate by using the image and clicking on the right side will take me to the next image. Clicking on the next side will take me to the previous image. Up here I can choose the size of the image to be displayed. So for instance, I can make the image larger on the screen. I can even come back and make it a little bit larger. Or I can come back and make it the original size. The original size is going to be 1920 by 1080. I can also toggle my metadata on and off. For instance, on this image, if I click on the camera, the metadata shows up on the screen. This metadata will stay there for every image until you toggle it back. Here you can see this image was taken with the Sony RX100 Mark II Aperture F4. So let's close the metadata. I'm going to click on this metadata icon and it's gone. And I'm going to show you what I consider to be one of the very coolest features about this album program. And that is the slideshow. So if I click on the slideshow icon, I can go forward or backwards. If I wait, the program will automatically go forwards and backwards. However, the really cool thing about this is if I click on the full screen icon, now the only thing that I have on the screen is the image itself. And that image will index itself forward on a predetermined time schedule. You can also go back or go forward as before. And the same thing happens if you click on the right side or the left side of the thumbnail. I'm sorry, the left side of the image. You can go backwards and forwards using that. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and exit out of the slideshow and press F11 to go back to the browser view and come over here and stop the slideshow. And I'm also going to go back and I'm going to reset my image size to medium so we can go back into the browsing mode. All right, one of the other features is the comments section. And here you can see there's an area for any viewer to go ahead and make comments about your particular image. And over here you can see the actual comments. I was blown away because I've only put the slideshow up a couple of days ago and already I have a whole host of comments by viewers. That really surprised me. So this should turn out to be kind of an interesting area of the uh, of the album program to keep an eye on. We have all of the social media buttons here. And if you're a social media user, you can go ahead and post tweets or post something on Facebook. All right, let's take a look at the navigation. Here we can go forwards and backwards uh, with the picture. I think I may have already showed you this. If we click the up arrow, that will take us back to the thumbnail page. Okay, and if I click on a thumbnail, we'll go back. And I want to show you over here, you can also navigate by clicking on uh, one of these items. If I click here, I can go back to my thumbnail page. And if I click here, I can actually go back to the home page. Be sure to visit skipphotographers.com for the original newsletter article that this tutorial refers to. I have put the link in the description section below.